Hello there, my name is Martin Daly. I am a member of the Crime Writers Association and this video is part of the Inspirations series. I live in a little village just outside of my home city of Carlisle in Cumbria in the northwest of England. Uh, and that's probably my first inspiration actually, my home city. It's uh, rich in history, dates back to Roman times and there's all sorts of um, intrigue and interest involved in the city. Never get tired of delving into the city's history to, uh, to find some inspiration. As far as my writing is concerned, I write uh, the Inspector Armstrong series. Inspector Cornelius Armstrong is a detective inspector in where else but Carlisle. Uh, there are three books in the series as I sit here. Uh, as you probably watch this uh, video, there'll be book four out, which is due on the 1st of December of this year, uh, 2020. And um, he is a detective inspector around the turn of the 19th, 20th century. And that's a bit of a giveaway, I guess, for my inspiration for that. Um, I wonder how many writers in this series list Arthur Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes and John Watson as their influences and inspirations. They are mine. Uh, I love those characters. They're probably my two favourite literary characters. I set a, an adventure of theirs in Carlisle uh, some years ago and in that uh, little novel I introduced Cornelius Armstrong but I didn't want to make him the classic buffoon Lestrade Hopkins uh, character that you see in the in the canon uh, because I wanted to give him some uh, adventures of his own. So he's a uh, he's not a super sleuth like Sherlock and uh, Akio Poirot uh, but he is a, a regular copper he is uh, uses a lot of common sense and uh, the stories I I really like researching them and I obviously like writing them and they are reasonably well received. So as I say, uh, book four is out in December. Uh, another forthcoming um, publication from me, I was lucky enough to be uh, included in the uh, next anthology of Sherlock Holmes stories, the CWA anthology that's out in, um, in springtime, I think. Uh, so that's a couple of forthcoming things from myself. Uh, I thought I would finish by uh, going through my uh, Desert Island collection. Uh, what books would I uh, take with me? Uh, so I've picked out my top five uh, and see how they compare to yours. Uh, although Holmes and Watson are my favourite literary characters, my favourite book of all time I would suggest is Dumas' Three Musketeers. Terrific book. I read it as a kid and I always go back to it. It's full of intrigue, adventure, betrayal, romance, action and a bit of crime fiction as well. A bit of crime detection along the way. Terrific book. I love The, the Three Musketeers. Uh, number two on the hit list. Well, what else but the canon? It has to be, doesn't it? Uh, the short stories and the four novels. If you press me about my favourite story, possibly the sign of the four, uh, but... All in all, uh, I love the, uh, the Sherlock Holmes canon. And of course, uh, what brought me back to it actually, I read those when I was a youngster and they were a great influence on me. But uh, then I came back to it through the Granada uh, production with Jeremy Brett, David Burke, B uh, David Burke and uh, Edward Harwick. Uh, what a fantastic adaptation that was. It was like lifting the Doyle narrative and the Paget drawings from the page. Uh, I love that series and uh, obviously love the canon as well. Uh, but it's not all period crime detection on my part. Number three on my list is Stig Larsson's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, the Millennium Trilogy, absolutely fantastic. Um, pity uh, the great Stig Larsson wasn't around to see the success, but uh, uh, really love the, those stories. 
Uh, a bit of non-fiction uh, would be Simon Sharma's History of Britain. <laughs> um, again, great stories, great reference material. Uh, love that particular series. Love those books. And last but by no means least, anything really from Charles Cumming. Uh, I love Charles Cumming. Uh, I've picked out the Trinity Six, but it could be could be any one of his uh, any one of his novels, really, any one of his series. So that's a little bit about me, my tastes, my likes, uh, my preferences, and my influences. Uh, if you want to know a little bit about me, I'll get in touch. Uh, my website is www.martindaily.co.uk. Uh, I hope you look after yourselves. Stay safe in these crazy times. Um, and happy reading, happy writing, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.